Gerald. Can we talk for a minute? you're doing are you okay no I'm not okay tell me is there something you're keeping from me it's as if you're hiding something very serious and it's eating you up inside you can tell me no no I'm fine thanks you seem strange I know I am of course I am. How else do you expect me to be? How else do you expect me to be? Look at all that's happened. Of course I am. Why would you say such a thing? Fine. It's your choice if you don't want to talk about it. Oh, by the way, your problem was sorted out. Which one? You called about it this morning? The man William hit? I talked to the guy and he's withdrawing his complaint. Ah, that's great news. So then that case is closed. Yes, it is, but... But what? Who knows? I get a feeling there's something more going on with this matter. Mason accompanied me to the hospital. We both talked to the guy. The man said he heard a gunshot before the accident took place. Mason became a bit curious about it, of course. We drove to the station after the visit. Guess what we found? A shell casing. Why? Why did you take Mason with you there? Why do you always go everywhere with that man? He asked to go. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I thought maybe a lawyer might come in handy. We already have a lawyer that works for us. We'll talk to Martin if we need to, but why do you go there with that guy? Since when, since when do you two become so friendly with one another, huh? Why are you getting so angry? Is there something you're hiding and you don't want Mason to find out? That's ridiculous. What on earth could I be trying to hide from Who him? Who knows? But isn't it a little strange? William has been missing since that day. Even his family doesn't know where he is. Do you have any idea where he is? Hang on. What are you trying to imply? What are you trying to say? And how should I know where he is? How should I know where William is? Am I the man's keeper? 